Lying just 13 miles southeast of downtown LA, Pico Rivera sits at the eastern edge of the LA basin and southern border of the San Gabriel Valley. With a population of about 63,000 people and a city that only spans nine square miles, Pico is a place that does not often get the love that it truly deserves. But with access to all the major freeways and some of LA's most affordable real estate, this 562 city is a killer place to call home. So from what it costs to live here to where to grab a bite at one of LA's finest steak restaurants, let's explore this place together. Welcome back to the 562. Welcome to the neighborhood. Welcome to Pico. Pico Rivera was founded in 1958 from the merging of two long-standing unincorporated communities. Pico, named after Pio Pico, the last Mexican governor of California, and Rivera, the Spanish word for riverbed. While this area was once all agricultural land, it really didn't begin to start popping off until after World War II with the rising demand in houses. To give us some perspective, Pico Rivera is bordered by Downey to the southwest and Woodier to the east. This is considered one of Southern California's gateway cities and serves as a bridge between Los Angeles and Orange County. One of the dopest free things to check out in Pico Rivera is the San Gabriel Riverbed Trail. This trail runs 35 miles north to south from Azusa all the way to Seal Beach. With the San Gabriel Mountains in the background and the beach as a destination, this is a killer spot to bring the family out for a walk or a mellow bike ride. You can find a trail access point right here in Pico Rivera on the corner of Loch Lamont Drive and Paramount Boulevard. Like a lot of Southeast LA, Pico is not the most walkable city, but it really makes up for it with access to the freeways. Pico Rivera is situated right in between the 605, 5, and 60 freeways, which make getting to downtown LA, Orange County, and even the Inland Empire relatively painless. the average single-family home, condo, and townhouse is going for just about $592,000. To better understand why Pico is one of the more affordable cities, it helps to understand where it sits in the bigger picture of things. To give you an idea, the average LA County property is going for just under $750,000, while the average crib across the state of California is going for just under $700K. Pico Rivera really doesn't have a wide range of home values the way that we'll find in some other cities, but prices will generally go from about $415,000 for a three bedroom, two bath condo, all the way up to about $650,000 for a four bedroom, three bath single family home. For example, we're here at our newest listing where this two bedroom, one bath home that's sitting at about 850 square feet is being listed at 480,000. On the flip side, just down the street, we have another listing that's three bedrooms, two bath, boasting a little bit more than 1,300 square feet that'll be selling for more than $580,000. As prices continue to explode across Southern California, neighborhoods like Pico Rivera are becoming increasingly more competitive to break into. That is exactly why it's so important to get your foot in the door while interest rates are as low as they are today. Let's go get some steaks. You don't have to know Pico Rivera to know Del Rey's. This steakhouse has belonged to one family and this community for more than 60 years, and it is not uncommon to see players from the Dodgers, celebrities, and local politicians flock here. I am so hyped to bring you inside this place and show off what they got cooking for us. Let's go take a peek. So we're here at Del Rey's restaurant right in Pico Rivera with Lauren Smith, one of the owners and operators of the place. Lauren. Tell us about it. How long have you guys been here? We've been here since 1958. My dad and uncle started, Ben and Bill Smith, and now my brother and I, Kevin and myself, are co-owners of the Dow Ray. What does everyone come here to get? What's the best selling item? The Dow Ray famous pepper steak, done with a filet mignon, pounded with black peppercorn, sauteed green onions, bacon, a little brown bordelais over the steak, and then served. It's delicious. It sounds so good. It's world famous. In your opinion, how should you order a steak? How should it be cooked? You want to be medium rare? Y'all heard that. Only order steak medium rare. It's like butter. It might not have the household name, but Pico Rivera is an incredibly charming city in its own right. With its convenient access to the freeways, 
awesome places to eat and so many good places to get outside, there is really so much to do in this city. So come check it out, drive through, stop at Del Rey's and get a bite to eat. They're finally back open to 25% capacity. Tables are more than eight feet spread apart. There's glass partitions everywhere. It's super COVID safe. The food is just unreal. Welcome to the neighborhood. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.